Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, welcome to the post-match press conference between Petro de Luanda and Fustarabat, arguably the best game of the conference so far. Representing um, Petro de Luanda first is uh, Coach Jose Neto and uh, Juan Pedro, with uh, Petro de Luanda winning the match by 89 points to 86. I'll open up for the first round of questions, please. We'll start with Queen and then Leonard Solms. Good evening, uh, good evening, coach. Good evening, Joran. Um, Queen from Nigeria, right for JB Sports. Uh, coach, um, you almost blew all out um, your opponents, talking about Fierce Rabat. Do you think you took it easy on them on defense in the fourth quarter, considering the substitutions you also made? Therefore, Joran, um, we've had similar games like this, like how. Um, we've mentioned so best um, game of the conference, like the game against um, ABC in the quarterfinal last year, or the game against Halali last year in the now conference. Do you see similarity in today's game and in both games that you've played last year in terms of the quality? Thank you, Queen, for your question. Um, first of all, we came here to win the, the, the game. It's very important for us. Uh, the, f the first step is win the game. Uh, they playing good, so we had some problems in the first quarter with falls. Uh, um, Mark ejected. So, okay, we need to manage these moments, the, the hard moments that we had. And um, so, we used one zone defense that's working good, worked good until the last quarter. We build a, a great a great win. So another thing is I think our no too much consistently the team we played because we are a new team practically. You know, uh, um, the new players, we didn't practice it too much. So it's normal when a team don't practice too much and don't know some things. In these moments, it's very hard. So I, I believe that. For us, it's very important to win the, this game. And, uh, and now we need to keep working. And keep working and think in the next game uh, against um, Cape Town. Sean, do you still remember the question? Yeah. OK. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, there were similarities in t on the tactical end, like Alali and um, Fus Rabat, because they're a very tactical team and very disciplined team, just like us. And I think this is what keeps the game exciting, and um, I'm up for games like this. I think we did a good job. I think we matched the intensity, which we didn't at the first game. But, it, but we also didn't really have a lot of intel on the team. We didn't really know the team. And as the coach was saying, we got two new players that came like almost a week before we came into this competition. The first practice that we had was here with them. And we had a national team break. But not to make excuses, at the end of the day, it's our responsibility to be prepared and show off uh, on a stage like that. And I think we did a good job. In comparison, we didn't manage to win by points, but we ended up winning the game. And I think that's all that matters. And it's all. Coach, uh, do you agree with me that Aginaldo Neto and his second quarter performance ended up being one of the, one of the key turning points in, in this game? And uh, now that he looks more adjusted to the team, do you think that we're going to see him get a, a decent amount of playing time? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. So it's a uh, hard decisions that uh, we need to to make in this moment. So of course, the, I like him too much. I told him, um, it's for me. It's a great player, but we have uh, four point guarders, and. Uh, and played good, <coughs> shoot. It's amazing guy. So Jerson to come on the bench, it's helped us a lot. I believe that in the last quarter, it was the problem. I agree with you. I like Ned too much. I, I think that he is a great player. Maybe, maybe it's my fault. Um, 
Everything that's happened here is my responsibility. I'm responsible for the team, the result. For me, it's most important is the players came to the game and play how we needed to play to win this game. So another thing is uh, zone or man to man, man to man, or change the defense sometimes, maybe the last quarter. Okay, it's happened. Uh, it's my responsibility. Uh, and I agree, maybe. Maybe Neto could can be in the, the front bench and, and help us more. Um, thanks, this is Buyu, coach. Um, obviously, you've had a good run in the tournament so far. Is there a difference in how you're going to be coaching your last games compared to this game and maybe the ones before, if any? Um, and again, just touching on your young one, uh, Aginaldo, is there any way that you have to coach him a bit differently to the rest of your squad, or do you try to keep it all the same? Can you repeat, please? Pardon me? About Neto? What, the did, last you, what did you ask? The last part. The yeah. last part. What was the last part? Oh, the, the last part was um, being that he is your youngest on your squad, is there a difference in how you coach him, or do you try to coach him the same as everybody else? Um, um, I would say before Neto, it's a great. I, I like him too much, very much. So um, I'm trying to, to teach him about the team because his position, it's as a, a point guard. He needs to manage the team on the court. I need to talk to him a lot. We have a three point guards before him, two point guards that stay with me and played with me for four seasons. They knows what I think, what I, we need, what the team needs. So Neto, I need to, to talk more with, with him. And I believe that he, he can help us. He can help us a lot. Um, we almost didn't, didn't have practice here. So I talk to him every, every time uh, on the hotel. So I, I need to teach him some things about the team that he can manage better. This, the, the bad situation. It's, it's hard. In the difficult situations, I put him on the court. It's give, the, give him the responsibility for the... It's, it's hard for, for him with the, the great, great players, great point guards in, on the bench. So I believe that he, he can help us. So just to add, uh, what coach is basically saying is that we are we are already stacked in a point guard position, and it's obvious that Neto is a different talent because he comes from a different school. But obviously, we have players that are established with whom we play and with whom we practice all those years, and they know the system and we know how they work uh, when crunch time is on. Obviously, so it's hard to make this decision or even being in this position. But today, luckily, it went well. And he proved that he's ready to be prepared on the biggest on on a big stage like that. Thank you, John. Okay, uh, Coach, can you talk about the impact of Carlos Moraes? And uh, you know, he didn't play that much, but he came off the bench again to score that uh, three-pointer to put some distance between yourselves and Fus. Um, I talk every time about Carlos. For me, Carlos, and for me, and I believe that. For, for everybody, Carlos is a legend. So, and, and he, he's, a, he's not a captain because he's a old player. No, no, because he's attitude. So, Carlos, it's very important on court, off court. Carlos is very important. He had the respect for all the team. He can talk with the players, with me, with the staff. I think he can help us on court or off court. Of course, better on court. Last question, any takers? Everybody covered. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you to guys. Thank Coach John, and uh, also well, well done for, <laughs> for, the, for the victory today. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, moving swiftly along to the second part of uh, this post-match press conference. At the top table, represented by uh, for uh, Fusta Rabat, is Badar Azuga and coach Said Al Buzidi. Any? No, 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 no. Is there a change? No. Are you? Uh, okay, no. Are you no me? Okay, no, no problem. Um, any takers for the first questions, please? No questions. Um, good evening, Emmanuel from the Big Tip Off. I just want to ask, what was different in the preparation, at least from the Tigers game to this game? Or is it just that Petro made a lot of adjustments that had you cornered or made you change your tactics a bit? Uh, coach, uh, he demands la, uh, oui, la, la, la preparation, in fact. Quelle a été la différence entre la façon dont vous avez préparé le match contre les Cape Town Tigers et ce match contre Petro de Rwanda? Is it just the fact that Petro a fait quelques ajustements. Est-ce que c'est ça l'explication, coach Oui, c'est sûr qu'ils ont fait quelques ajustements par rapport au premier match. Le problème, c'est nous. Hein. Nous, on n'était pas, pas bien concentrés comme le premier match. Donc, euh, on est tombé dans l'ego. Donc, chacun il cherchait à faire la solution lui-même. Euh, défensivement, on n'était pas agressif comme l'autre match. Donc, il y avait des erreurs. Donc, euh, euh, contre une équipe comme le Petro, tu commets des erreurs comme ça, donc tu seras sanctionné. Le plus important, c'est qu'on est revenu sur le score, parce qu'on était à presque à moins 20, moins 21. Donc, euh, euh, c'est ça le, le, ce qui est positif, c'est qu'on a eu la, 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 une, réa, une bonne réaction. On aurait pu gagner le match. La technique euh, du joueur, la, la perte de balle de Aliou à la fin. Donc, euh, mais je pense que c'est une bonne leçon pour nous. Euh, dans l'avenir, parce que notre point fort, notre point fort, c'est le collectif défensif et offensif, parce qu'on a démontré ça sur le premier match et le deuxième match. Après, il y a un problème de, de ramadan, c'est un peu difficile. Euh, tu gênes, tu viens à, à, à 30 minutes pour euh, prendre le déjeuner. Le programme des, des joueurs euh, musulmans et des joueurs qui font pas le ramadan, c'est un peu différent. Donc, euh, il y a un peu un, comme une séparation de certains joueurs du groupe. Donc c'est pour cela que les Américains, même premier, le deuxième match et le deuxième match, le troisième match, ils n'étaient pas dedans jusqu'à la fin. Ils réagissent. Même le, le contre Cape Town, ils ont fait la même chose. Heureusement qu'on a un effectif riche. Donc il y avait une réaction de, 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 des autres joueurs de, de bon. Et ça, c'est le positif. Et après, on doit travailler sur ça mentalement. On doit être prêt pour tous les matchs. Il ne faut pas qu'on sous-estime l'adversaire. Une équipe gagnante, c'est qu'elle gagne. Elle doit avoir cet esprit gagnant. Elle doit se concentrer sur tous les matchs, sur tous les détails. So, um, just in summary, what the coach is saying that it's this is not has nothing to do with the Petro de Luanda team, but more with the the Fus Rabat team. Actually, the team um, did not uh, prepare well. I mean, there was a lack of concentration, especially at the start of the game. And uh, he mentioned the fact that you know uh, Petro was at some point leading 20 to 21 points. Um, also, the strength of his team is the collective defense and offense, and most of the time in, during the game they missed that out, but of course the team was able to come back strong. Um, he also mentioned some of the losses that they made of the ball, but maybe by Aliou Diara, you know, which cost them you know, um, a lot of points and the difference. And also in terms of preparation, he mentioned you know, the fact that this, during the, the period of Ramadan, the preparation is different. You know, for, 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 for his team. So the players have to come, you know, 30 minutes uh, before the game, you know, have to, you know, uh, observe uh, uh, the, the period where they have to end the, the fast. So it, it creates, you know, that kind of uh, uh, lack of lack of question. But again, no excuses. You know, the team has to prepare for every game. And a team like Petro de Luanda, you don't have to, you know, underestimate this kind of team, which is very, very powerful. But the most important is that we're supposed to reduce the score, and it's a good lesson for them for the next games of, in the competition. Any other questions? My name is Queen from Nigeria. Uh, coach, you had, like you said, you had a poor um, first half, especially in the second, second quarter. You were outscored 9-21 and um, 17 turnovers. Would you attribute that to the defeat for today? Do you think that was responsible for today's defeat? Then for, um, I think Ayub, you can answer that. You can answer that question. Then coach, um, in a situation where Alu Diera cannot get the ball, cannot get the basket, because like most of the time you guys play through Alu Diera, when it wasn't working, you brought in Naja, 
to get those ball in, to get those driving and those uh, jumpers. In games like this against Petro, where Aludiara is not working, are there no other options you'll be able to apply to get you those um, baskets in? Je pense qu'on va commencer avec euh, Joueur sur le. En fait, euh, la journaliste demande de ce deuxième quatre ans. Est-ce que c'est ça qui a été euh, le, le point faible en fait de, de cette journée, de cette de match qui a été perdu contre Petro de Luanda? Ouais, je pense que ça va pas commencer au seulement au deuxième carton. Enfin, de, dès le début du match, le, le 5 de base, on n'est pas rentré comme il le fallait, comme il, comme on a fait dans le premier match. Je pense qu'on n'a pas été assez agressif en défense et, euh, et ça nous a coûté. C'est vrai que deuxième carton, ils ont marqué des shots euh, difficiles et, euh, et voilà, on n'a pas réussi à match la, la même énergie que qu'ils avaient. Donc, je pense que ça nous a coûté. Et euh, beaucoup de, de crédit à eux. Ils ont, ils ont, ils ont bien préparé le match. Ils nous ont bien euh, scout. Et, euh, et voilà, je pense que qu'ils ont réussi à montrer certaines de nos faiblesses sur certaines choses sur lesquelles on doit travailler. Et je pense qu'on va travailler dessus et on va revenir plus fort. So, and he's mentioning the the aggressiveness, you know, of the, the lack of aggressiveness, not only during the, the the second quarter, but also at the beginning of the of the of the game, you know. And he gives a lot of credit to the Petro de Luanda team, which it's a very is a very strong team, and it's a it's a good lesson, and they will try to uh, correct the errors in in the next games. Coach, uh, la question uh, de Queen, c'est sur, uh, en fait, la gestion de, de, de Aludiara. Donc, elle a, elle a, elle a demandé la, la gestion de Aludiara. Au moment où si on ne donne pas le ballon à Aludiara, est-ce qu'il y a d'autres solutions, comme Nadia qui vient du banc, est-ce qu'il y a d'autres solutions autour de Aludiara qui peut compenser le fait qu'il n'a pas de ballon? Alio Diara, c'est un jeune joueur, donc euh, à chaque fois qu'il rentre, il veut faire la même chose euh, comme, euh, comme les précédents matchs. Donc euh, les matchs, ça, ça change, donc il n'y a pas. Tu peux, vous ne pouvez pas faire la même chose. Donc ouais. il faut jouer, et après, en fonction de, de l'adversaire, du jeu, des situations, on peut avoir des, des, des balles. Donc euh, c'est vrai qu'Alio n'a pas eu beaucoup de ballons, mais Alio n'était pas dedans en défense. Ouais. Parce que la, 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 le, le point fort de Aliou, c'est la défense et après, c'est dans le jeu rapide. Donc, il est dans, les, dans le fast break. Oui. Donc, euh, oui. c'est ça le, son point fort. Oui. Dans le panier, il n'est pas, pas tellement terrible. Mais face au panier, il peut faire des... Mais l'adversaire, il nous a proposé une zone. Donc, c'est vrai qu'on n'a pas pu euh, l'attaquer comme il faut au début. Mais en fin de compte, les joueurs, ils ont compris qu'il faut qu'on joue inside sur les relations entre, le, entre 4 et 5 pour faire regrouper la défense et faire sortir le ballon pour les shooters. C'est pour cela qu'on a mis du shoot à la fin de quatrième carton. Par contre, en premier, en premier mi-temps, premier carton, deuxième carton, donc on était souvent sur le, le, la, la passe extérieure. Ouais. Donc on était dans la, 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 la latéralité du jeu, dans la périphérie. C'est pour cela qu'on n'a pas pu shooter. Donc il fallait donner le ballon inside. Donc euh, ça, c'est une bonne leçon pour nous. On va travailler sur ça. Et, mais toujours, il y, a, il y a Aliou, il y a Mohamed, il y a Najah. Donc, euh, il, y a, il y a trois joueurs qui peuvent jouer dans ce poste. Mais Aliou, maintenant, il est performant. Mm. Donc, euh, on verra les, les autres joueurs comment ils vont réagir par rapport à, dans l'avenir. Right. So, the coach mentions that there are other players who can play the role of Aliou very well. Of course, mo the Aliou's strength is mostly on the on the on the defense. And the, he mentioned the fact that you know um, during this game, uh, the fact that he was not getting the ball was because of their style of play, mostly, or of course, lateral play. But, and Aliou's strong point is mostly you know, defending and, of course, on, on fast plays. But in front of the, the, the basket, he can be really very strong. But again, he has um, uh, other replacements. And Nadia, it's a, it's a good replacement, as you mentioned. And again, the notes have been taken for this game and improvements will be made in, in, previous, uh, in, the, next, in the next games. Any more questions? Yes. Leonard Soms. Uh, Coach Leonard Soms, ESPN Africa. Um, you've you've explained a bit about why Aliou in in this game was not as as central to the team in others. Um, how can he adapt his game in order to make sure that when the other team has has a plan to shut him out, um, he he can still be just as impactful. Donc, Coach, vous avez parlé du fait que euh, Aliou n'a pas été très performant, il n'a pas eu beaucoup de ballons, on vient de l'évoquer. 
euh, et euh, le journaliste le Nansom s'il demande comment est-ce que on, vous pouvez l'amener justement quand l'équipe adverse a un plan pour, pour, la, pour la tenue, comment est-ce que vous pouvez euh, l'amener à, à bien jouer ou bien à bien figurer dans un, dans un match Je pense que Aliou, il doit, il doit réfléchir à une chose, c'est que c'est l'équipe qui doit faire le, son job, c'est un pivot, ce n'est pas obligatoire qu'il reçoive la balle, mais il peut faire d'autres rôles, c'est faire des écrans, des pics, euh, rouler vers le panier, recevoir, faire sortir la balle, les, les ballons, donc ça, s'il travaille sur ça, ça va être bénéfique pour lui et pour l'équipe. Après, euh, les balles inside, il peut les avoir. Aujourd'hui, il a eu des balles à la fin du quatrième carton et il a donné de bons passes à Zouga qui a scoré et tout ça. Donc, euh, il, peut, il peut faire beaucoup de choses, mais il doit travailler avec euh, le cerveau parce que le basket, ça se joue de là jusque là. Donc, euh, c'est ça le plus important. Mais après, on ne parle pas seulement de Aliou parce que le, nos meneurs, surtout euh, Ken, ils gardaient trop la balle. Donc, euh, c'était difficile d'attaquer la zone en gardant trop la balle. Donc, euh, il fallait qu'on qu jouait sur le jeu de passe. Ce qu'on a fait à la fin, quand on a, quand on a vu que l'adversaire était à plus 20, donc on était plus fluide dans le jeu de passe, on a pu euh, faire des mouvements, faire rentrer le ballon inside. Donc, euh, je pense qu'Aliou, il a scoré au quatrième carton, je pense, 10 ou 12 points. Donc, euh, pour nous, c'est lui qui a ramené l'équipe... Euh, euh, vers le, euh, sur le, la remontada du score. Il y a aussi le, le, le Kane, John, il a mis des shoots. Donc, euh, en mettant le ballon inside, on peut avoir de bonnes positions de shoot. Ce n'est pas forcément qu'il doit scorer, mais euh, il apprend. Je pense que c'est un joueur qui a de bonnes qualités. Il faut travailler sur la cognitivité. C'est la plus importante au basket. Right. So, uh, Leonard, the coach says that it's a, it's a very, he's a great player and The fact that he's, he plays is, as a center doesn't necessarily mean that he has to score all the time. He can be very uh, instrumental in other aspects of play, like you know, doing screens, you know, pass, passing the ball inside. And of course, when when he did that, you know, it worked well for the team. And he also noted the fact that he scored 10 to 12 points at and during the fourth quarter, which permitted the team to close the gap uh, with with Pietro de Luanda. Also, the coach mentioned the the the. the The style of play, I mean, basketball is in a very high intellect game where you have to use your, your brain, you have to use all aspects, you know, of your, of your senses to, to play. But, of course, he believes in the, in the quality of, of, of value, not necessarily as a scorer, but also, you know, just to be uh, the, the inside play, which is very important, passing the ball and just helping his teammates. So he insisted on the collective aspect of, of play and not just focusing on value as a player. I'll take final question. Euh, N'oubliez pas qu'en première mi-temps, on, on était à 0% sur le shoot à 3 points. Exact. Donc c'était difficile de, de mettre le ballon inside. Donc toute la défense, il se regroupait à l'intérieur. So the coach just add, added that in the, in, the, in, the, in the first quarter, they were on 0, on, 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 free, on three point throws. So it was very important for them to pass the ball around. Final question. Hi, um, for the coach. Um, Just in your own words, what do you think that your team did well to change the game? And what was he reinforcing in the fourth quarter? And what will he be telling them to tighten going forward? Right. Coach, qu'est-ce que vous avez fait du, du bien dans cette rencontre pour, euh, pour réduire le score? Et qu'est-ce que vous allez dire, en fait, qu'est-ce que vous avez déjà dit parce que vous sortez du, de vestiaire? Qu'est-ce que vous avez dit aux joueurs et à l'avenir pour, pour être euh, plus, plus performant, comme d'habitude? C'est vrai qu'on a, qu a fait du bien parce qu'on était à moins 20, donc euh, on était deuxième. Et après, euh, on, avait, on a un match difficile contre Cap Town le dimanche, donc euh, il fallait, on est revenu sur le score. Donc euh, on a perdu la partie moins 3, donc on a déjà un, un point d'avérage entre nous et, et l'équipe angolaise. Euh, Je n'ai pas encore parlé aux joueurs donc, parce qu'ils étaient au chaud. Okay. Après, on va se réunir, on va parler des choses qu'on a déjà dit, c'est que notre point fort, c'est le, le collectif, ouais. c'est le sacrifice offensif et défensif. Il faut qu'on joue euh, comme une équipe, parce que comme on a fait, comme on, on sait le faire, on ne doit pas tomber dans les pièges de, de, de l'égoïsme pour se montrer, parce qu'il y a l'immédiat, il y a mmh. beaucoup de choses. Donc, euh, on est mature, on doit, on, doit, on doit se concentrer sur nous-mêmes, sur notre jeu, sur la qualité de, de, de notre équipe et travailler pour euh, 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 on a euh, dans l'avenir pour euh, arriver à nos objectifs. So the first thing um, the, the coach and the team did well was the fact that they had to close the gap to three points because they were losing by 20 points earlier. That's the first thing. Secondly, he has not yet spoken to 
the players because um, they were still uh, recuperating, recuperating from the game. But the message that's going to go to the team is, you know, just to work on all the things that he said earlier, working on the inside play, more, more collective game. And he mentioned that they have a very uh, strong game on Sunday against home team, the Cape Town Tigers, and they'll try as much as possible to right all the wrongs of this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you to Ayub. Thank you to Coach Said, And of course, thank you to Edwin.